This is Justin Pulitzer. This is my last video of the year, likely. It is December 21st, 2014. This is a dedicated video on Netflix. So you can see that uh, the pre-crash, this is when Netflix was in its like bull phase before it collapsed down to like close to 53. The high was 304.97. You can see, let's uh, zoom in here on get us to some current time. The last, no, let's do nine months. You can see that um, we held there on this pullback, rallied back up here to make new highs, and now on earnings gap down and have been kind of approaching that level again, which I think a lot of people were looking for a uh, buy the dip or a place to cover shorts. And you can see I had discussed in the last video that I had discussed um, Netflix that um, this really big range here from 331 to 366 was really just range chop and it was either bullish above it or bearish below it. And you can see this week we had a bit of a look below. I think a lot of people were thinking we were going to get there and then we came back up over the downtrend line into range. I still think this area here is kind of like a no touch just because it is the gap range. I really prefer it short below or long above. but. I will give you a trade setup that I see is very possible. If you are looking to play this thing long, I think you can do it as long as you are over this 331. You can see on Friday we closed around 340, so it's not at the dead low. But you can see here we had a bit of a uh, we we broke out. We did we this day wasn't very strong, but it held over trend and over that level for the close, and then the next day Friday was bullish. So I think if we could take this high here this 342.50, you may be able to play for some type of a move to the higher end of the range. If we took this area out, obviously, you know, the trade is then again, again back short. You know, it would be a, a look below range, a test back into it, and then a failure, which to me would be very bearish. But um, I think if you want to play long against this 331, which is the lower end of the range now that we tested below and are back into it, I think that's as, as valid a setup here as any. And possibly a move over this um, this high of 342 half as a, a play for a move back up into range. Um, I'm not really super duper bullish or bearish on this stock. I would actually love to play it short on a uh, a move back to the downtrend line for a right or right out type of a play, just because it's a defined one here. Um, but that's sort of how I see this stock. I just see it as really a bit of a big range. I know it gets a lot of talk on the stream because it's one of these big dollar momentum cult stocks. But um, I really think um, that there's there is a play here if if you if you're looking for it. Anyhow, um, that's it. Cheers.